Hi there, this is Ginger Bratzel from gingerbratzel.com and New Patient Attraction Automation. And this is the place where we help dentists get more of the patients they want, create sustainable growth for their practice, and increase their production. And today's topic I want to talk to you is the verbiage going in your mind. I don't know if you're a parent or you know small children, but we know the implication of the words that we use with them and the mentality they have. For instance, from my house, I have two young kids in there and they will come in upset and they'll say, Mom, I can't do that when they don't want to try something new. Uh, nobody likes me. Um, we, everyone in my class is doing it. They always get to do this. Everyone has an iPhone. They go through and use these definitive terms and they're very childish and we accept that and we understand that as adults and we try to get them out of there. But when I go to talk to clients, they still have that same mentality. And it comes up in my, sometimes creeps in my mentality and even my best producing, my highest level coaching members, they'll get over, I can't do that in my town. Um, we've never done that before. No one else is doing it that way, I don't know. And that's when ego's creeping in and that's when you're being scared and you use these definitive terms. And they seem like just words, but they get cemented in your mentality and that keeps you small. So when you're going through and making changes, and you're looking forward to doing other things in practice, make sure you wipe those out. And I mean, I've gone so far to write them on the board. I can't, no, uh, never, no one, always. And I put a, the big circle on it and the slash through it. So just as a middle note, those are out of vocabulary. I've even gone to things to reprogram during a, a meetings when people keep saying, I can't, I can't. And we will take the mental game out of it and put in a physical game. So if someone's doing an office meeting or a mastermind meeting and they say, I can't, they have to sit down and do 10 push-ups because it breaks the cycle, breaks the mental uh, capacity. So don't let I can't be a reason, an excuse. Never, no one, and always we've done it this way. And we'll use new words, flexibilities, because in a storm, the trees that are flexible are the ones that make it. The ones that are stiff and rigid never do. So I want you to be able to weather any storm and be able to grow your practice. I hope you found this useful and go ahead and share it on Facebook, um, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and whoever else you want to share it with, I'm glad to share it with you. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.